What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part one for my playthrough on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh my god, the time is finally here to play this game. I haven't played an Animal Crossing game in a good bit, but I'm a big fan of the series. If you guys are hyped for this new playthrough, make sure you support it by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Let's get this playthrough off to a strong start. Seriously, I hope you guys do enjoy this playthrough, and if you do, you guys already know the deal. Show that support, the like button, and the subscribe button, and I'll keep pushing out content for you guys. But guys, without further ado, let's hop in to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's go guys, flying in on our new island for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And guys, oh my god, I'm so excited. This game I've been hyped for for a long time. We're ready to roll out. I picked my island, I skipped through, I didn't even show you guys me picking my name, me picking my island, all that good stuff. Because it's no big deal, I know you guys don't really want to see that. You guys just want me to get into that gameplay, so that's what we're going to do, be doing. But one big mistake... Um, I forgot to change my hair color, so I think we're blonde today. So hats are gonna be our friends, or we'll just change it later. But we have to go to the plaza, that's what Timmy and Tommy says. Yeah, but I think it's hilarious, I forgot to switch my hair color. Like, I was doing the nose and everything, focusing on my nose and all that, and I did not think to change my hair color. But let's go, Timmy and Tommy tell us to go, can I pick up this branch yet? No, we can't even pick up branches yet, but we gotta go to the plaza, or to Tom Nook over here, our big dog, to get started with this playthrough. Yo, what is up, Tom Nook? Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Agnes here? Yeah, yo, Agnes is here, and how about Sparrow? Sparrow's the bird over there. <laughs> and there's Jeans. Woo! Let's get it. I cannot wait to just get through this beginning of the game and get rolling with all the good stuff. Start building my village and all that. But guys, I'm also gonna be doing a like a live stream playthrough over on my Twitch channel. So link will be in the description below for my Twitch if you guys want to come hang out in my village, play Animal Cross with me. So we're gonna be doing a YouTube playthrough. Then I'll have a separate account for my live stream playthrough so we can focus on YouTube things and play it on my own time in the live stream. So that's gonna be tons of fun to do that with you guys so definitely come hang out like i said link is in the description below but what are we doing here we're just talking to tom nook getting through beginner stuff and usually a lot of talking right in the beginning of animal crossing and then they set you free but we have to go collect our tent from timmy or tommy one of them yo what's good is it this boy i heard him say it. let's go timmy here you go jeans your very own tent oh baby yeah yo let's get set up once you find a perfect spot, press X to access your inventory and then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making the final decision. You'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding it. Okay, I'm down with it. Let's go. Oh, he's going to give us a map as well? Oh, yeah, yo. Give me that map. So Animal Crossing just takes a little bit of time to set up, but yo, this game is phenomenal. Once you get set up through the little intro, the little introduction, then you can do whatever you want, build your own village. But we gotta go find a spot. How do I uh, see my map? So can I look through my map here? Or do I have to hit the plus button? Oh, there's a map on the bottom of the screen. If I stand still, is that how it goes? There it goes. If I stand still, so where do I want to put my house? So I have a river to my right. Hold up, let me look at that again. I have a river to my right. I kind of want to keep it near here. I want to keep it like, I actually might just put it right up on this river right here. I don't really want to take out trees or rocks. But I might just put it right up on the river. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's start over. I want to keep it near this little area right here. Because I'm going to be going here a lot. I'm going to be going to the little... This area right here. A decent amount. I'm going to put it right up in this little cavern right here. Yeah. About right here. Can I pluck these weeds or something? I cannot pluck these weeds yet. Okay, but we're going to do it right here. Tent. Can we place here? Build here. Let's see how it looks. Okay. We're too close to the water. Okay, we'll move it over just a tad bit. How about right? I don't want to take out that cherry tree, but I kind of want it in this little crevice. No, no, no. We're going to put it right before this crevice so we can actually move things around. Let's go here. Tent. Build here. What you want? Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's imagine it. So we keep the cherry tree. Yeah, let's imagine it. So imagining it just takes away everything that it would and shows you how it would look. Uh, kind of want it up a little bit higher. Let's put it up a little bit higher. Nah, yo, I need to rethink it. I don't want that cherry tree just blocking me out all the time. We're gonna throw it up like right here. I think right here is a wonderful spot. But I want the uh, yeah. Let's go right here. Cause I can eventually chop down that tree and not even worry about it. Let's go build here. And I build here. No, do the water. We're actually just gonna take out this tree. It's gonna be right here. This is a lovely spot. Lovely spot for Jean's tent. I'm blonde hair. I put my tent here. Heck yeah, yo. This is the spot. I don't even have to imagine it. I'm liking it that much. Yo, I can't believe I gave myself blonde hair, yo. I was doing the eyes and everything, and then I hit okay. I was like, wait a minute. Did I even do my hair? All right, can I go inside my tent? Or no, I think I have to go back to uh, Timmy or Tommy. But you can hold down B to actually run. I don't think they tell you that. They didn't even tell me that, but I kind of just figured that out. What's up? I'm not... Ah, jeans. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Hmm? Yeah, I did. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for the right location. You know, since you're already done, some scouting... Wait, some scouting the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Okay. So I gotta go find the others? Is that what I gotta do? Oh, yo, look at this butterfly. 
Let me see the map. Let me see the map. What do we gotta do? We gotta go scout with the others? Let me talk to Tim. Oh, no, not Tom. I know, I know what you just said, my dude. I know what you just said. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, let me, no, bro, bro, Tom Nook, I'm getting sick of it. I guess we cannot talk to Timmy or Tommy. That's chilling, that's chilling. I guess we gotta go find the others and see what they're up to. I saw Sparrow over here, so I'm gonna go talk to him. Get going, yo, what's up, Sparrow? Yo, I'm Sparrow, you're Jeans, right? Yeah, dude, that's me. Nice to meet you. Like, whoa, you're already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find a perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have a lot of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Jeans? Yo, I think it's perfect. Looks good to me. Think so? Awesome. Okay, then. How about we do a little visualizing exercise together? Yo, we already know how to visualize. We, are, we, we just did that. But, yo, that's looking spiffy, dude. Pretty cool, right? Yo, looks great. Looks perfect. Place your thing there. Let's get rolling. All right. Looks like we have a winner. Yeah, yo. Give me that spot. That's all yours, bud. Why I say give me that spot? I already have my spot. But, yeah, I cannot wait to actually get into this game. So, the main, like, focus of this game is to kind of collect bells and just build your village. Do all your good stuff. Have some fun with it. Oh, that's actually a solid spot, Sparrow. Right up on the beach. Now, where's the next person at? Can I see him on my map? The uh, bum, bum, bum. I see a tent. Where is our next little buddy? I mean, is there two others? Or is there one? Let's talk to Tommy Nook again. Let's see. Hmm. Agnes hasn't returned yet. Okay, so we gotta go find Agnes. Yeah. We're gonna go find Agnes. Where is Agnes at? I wanna start picking up items and all that. Oh, is this her? Yeah, what's up, Agnes? Yo, this is a perfect spot for you. Yo, wait, I got it. Don't tell me. Can I move your spot? Because I kind of want to put it next to Sparrows, to be honest. I kind of just want to throw it over there. Kind of start planning out my island. Because we're going to fill up this whole island eventually. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so dope. But let's see. So this is my new spot. Okay. Did I say yes? Did I say yes? Um, I'll find you a spot. Can I do that? Whoa, for real? You're going to pick out a perfect spot for me? Yeah. I want to pick out a spot. I'm going to go throw you over near Sparrow so I know where both of you guys are, are at the same time. Oh, can I have your tent? Yeah, give me that. Yeah, give me that tent. Imagine if I just stole both their tents and I was just like made a massive tent mansion. Give me that. All right, let's roll. We're going to go over here. Come on, Agnes. This way. Lord Sparrow. Okay, so should I place them right next to him? I think like right here could be nice. Or I'm thinking a little bit like right here could be pretty nice as well. Mm. I kind of want to move Sparrows over now. But I'm thinking right here. I'm thinking right here. Let's say it. Let's say X. Give Agnes's tent built here. I just want to make it symmetrical. Yeah, that's going to be actually pretty decent. Let's imagine. Let's just imagine it first. Just to see. I like to. I want to line it up. I want my village to be that shmoney shmoney. That's lined up. Beautiful. And then we can have a pathway in between them. Okay. Yeah, yo. This is the spot. Agnes, there's your thing. Right up on the beach. You guys got a goodie. I'm right up on the river to the right. If you guys ever want to come hang out. <laughs> Agnes got a place for her tent now. Yeah, yeah. It looks like everyone has a spot. Now we go back to the plaza. I like how they call this thing the plaza. It's literally just a dirt pile for right now until it actually builds up. But it's New Island, that's what we're doing. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you have found your right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm. Really get a feel for how it suits you. Yeah. And with that taken care of, we can move on to some serious business. Oh, baby. Island warming party. Yo, let's get it. We're going to go to the campfire, have an island warming party. That's type nice. That's type nice. But I heard, like, there's two different currencies in this game. I heard it's bells and nook miles. So nook miles, you do, like, achievements and all that. And you get mile points. And then you can pay off, like, your loans and all that through nook miles so i think we're going to be doing that in today's video just rolling out paying off our loan but uh, where do we have to go i don't even know do we have to go to sleep or something let me talk to tom i didn't read it uh jeans i just want to go over what we'll need for the campfire i think roughly 10 tree branches all right beautiful let's go grab it pick it up with why so where's those tree branches at i think we can shake down trees and all that grab a bunch of stuff so right off the bat what you kind of really want to do is grab just like anything you can a bunch of weeds because you can eventually sell weeds and all that good stuff you can hold up to like 99 of them and you can sell them. I think they're 10 bells a pop. You can get a decent amount of bells just by uh, rolling out, picking up weeds, picking up whatever you can for right now. And eventually you can sell them. But you can go up to trees. I believe you can shake them with A. Is it A? Yeah, yo, you can shake them with A. Any more coming out here? We got some tree branches coming here. Cherries. I believe the fruits change on season, which is awesome. So when you put in where you're from, like Southern Hemisphere or Northern, he Northern Hemisphere, the weather will actually change due to what you're dealing with. Well, they're, uh, they're trying to. That's what they're trying to do. How many tree branches do we have? I think we have like three, I think, including this one. Let's go. Let's shake this tree. I believe if you shake a tree, you can get up to like a couple different tree branches. How many tree branches can we have? Ooh. Yo, give me them all. Give me all them tree branches. I'll take four. Then we'll head over to the next tree. But I believe once you like go through everything, like say you can you explore your island, you take all the weeds off your island, you search every single tree, you cannot really do too much until you 
wait till the next day for things to grow on it, which is awesome. So you can't just like spam the crap out of this game and just dominate. Like, it's actually so cool how they designed it. We got these cherries. We got all these weeds. Let me pick them all these weeds right here. Weeds, weeds, weeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them all. Yeah, so you can just run around, collect everything. That's what I recommend to do in the beginning, just so you have some bells to actually pick up throughout this game or to have early on. You can sell your weeds, you can sell your cherries, you can sell extra tree branches. Oh, look, we got stone chilling here. Give me that, boy. I'm gonna shake down this tree and then I'm gonna go talk to Tom Nook. Say, yo, what's up? Give me some tree branches. Give me some branches. I can actually check my inventory just to see how many branches we have. I think that's all we're getting here. Give me that cherry. Yo, ye, baby. Yeah, I can't get over how I have blonde hair. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. <laughs> We're going to deal with it until we can change it. 13 tree branches. Okay, we got some weeds. We got some cherries. Let's roll out. Any more weeds we can pick up? Oh, we can. We can just slap up these. These are little weeds in here. Give me them. Yeah. So, I believe this game is on a grid system as well. So, you're just going to have to move. Like, everything's based on a grid. Like, building-wise, tree-wise, all that good stuff. But we cannot really do too much until we start getting through this beginning. We can only pick up weeds and everything. We're going to need some equipment tools like shovels, some axes to chop down trees and all that. And uh, fish rods to actually go fishing. Oh, good, jeans. It looks like you managed to collect the tree branches. Yeah, yo, we're, we're ready to have that fire. You need 10? I got 10. I'll take what what I need off your hands now. There you go. Take the tree branches. Light the fire up. Yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this designated or desolated island with such a hard worker like you. And speaking of surviving on a on a desolate island, I didn't even do that. <laughs> I clicked that too fast. Yeah, but my boy Sparrow. Okay, so you need cherries now. We need cher cherries. We have cherries. So can I just talk to you? You need six of them. Do I have six? I believe I picked up six. I believe I did like three trees. So we might have nine. We have 12 to nine. I believe. Nine to 12, something around there. Yo, yeah, just take my cherries. There you go, man. I just collected fruits and stuff for my home. And Tom Nooks just comes over here and steals them. Like that is like genuine tom nook that is just genuine tom nook always been like that just stealing your money stealing your food stealing everything you got to build the village like this dude this dude like give me all your bells but we light the campfire and we have this little welcoming island party let's go i'm liking the dude sparrow cracking me up i just like the way he looks and he said yo to me once we got up there so that's pretty funny here's a little island warming party party can we get a little dance going yeah <laughs> get a little dance but I believe we're almost kind of like getting done the introduction. I believe we can start like doing our own thing right after this and get rolling, picking up items, doing work from there. But yo, I cannot wait to play this game on my live stream. For real, for real, I cannot wait to play this game on my live stream. I'm just gonna be bulldozing through it, make my own village. That's why I want to make a separate account for both of these so I can take my time with the YouTube one, make some good content for you, and then go over to the live stream and play as much as I want. So just a name for the island. Oh, oh. Jeans land, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Can do we just do that? Jeans land. That's kind of. Uh, hmm. Let's space it. I can't think of anything. So jeans land is probably what it is. Jeans land. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Jeans topia. Oh yes. Jeans topia. Oh yes, yo. Jeans topia. No one's messing with that. No one is messing with that. All right, is everyone ready? Uh, we're all coming up with names right now. Yo, my name better get picked. Jeans Topia is type nice. People are probably like who don't know me is probably like Jeans Stopia, but no, it's Jeans Topia. <laughs> we're all voting here. Yo, pick my place. It's you gotta pick my place. Imagine if it was like a game where it was like random generators. Like, all right, we're gonna take Sparrow's name. We're like, what? Why did I come up with a name for? Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each and every one clapped. Yeah, because that name is sick. Jeans Topia. Probably gonna be naming my live stream things the same thing off of this. Just doing more work in it and being way ahead of the game. Because when I record, I'm only recording for like an hour. But when I'm streaming, I'll probably be streaming for like three, four hours. So that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. We are now resident representative of Jeans Topia. <laughs> Good thing I came up with Topia. That was pretty nice. Because I Jeans Land's kind of. It's, it's alright, but it's so like generic. Like land after a name. But Topia. Oh, that ranks me up. That ranks me up to big dog status. Let's go. What are we pulling out? Oh, we got our little cherry drinks, cherry beverages, fresh juice from the cherries. Our new resident representative harvest on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Jeans Topia and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Yeah! I wish I had a drink. I would. I would. I would take a cheers with these dudes right now. But there we go. I think that's like kind of finishing up. I think that's finishing up everything. Let's talk to Tom Nook. See what's going on. Ah, Jeans, having a good time? Yes. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. 
Maybe I'll go do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go head over to my tent, call it a night, go take a nap. And what's he give me? Ooh, what you give me, my dude? A camping cot. Okay, so we can set up on our tent, and that is how we sleep. We sleep on that cot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we can move around in our tent. All good stuff. I love the I love the voices of these people. Just like, all right, let's go to our tent. I believe it's over here by the water. Well, wait, okay, I was gonna say, wasn't it in that crevice? It's right here. I am as lost. Could you imagine if I lost my tent already? That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. We're gonna go make our way into our tent. Get chilling here. Go take a quick nap. Well, what we got here? We got little boxes? How do I open up these boxes? What is this? Okay, we open up. Oh, radio. What is that? Okay, and a lamp. Can I move this radio? I kind of, how do I move it? Okay, so I hold down A and I can push it. Okay, cool. Why can't you just lift up the radio and move it around? <laughs> We're just going to push this thing with our little ball palms. Look at our palms, yo. They're hilarious. But let's bring out our camping cot right here. Let's place that item so we can actually go to bed. Can I actually turn it? Can I actually turn it? I want to turn it. How do I turn it? How do I turn it? Okay, so I just picked it up. Actually, I can throw it in this corner if I want to. Camping cot. Place item. Yeah. All right, yeah, now let's push back. Or we can just nap. That's fine. <laughs> Rest ahead for a little while. Yeah, I want to push it back to the wall, but we'll do it later. We'll just push it up there. We gotta learn how to turn items. Or, yeah, turn items. Let's go. Now we're taking a rest, and our day is finally over, and we can get working on strong with this game. So what I really want to do in this episode is grab our main items and start working on our Nook Mile. So I want to kind of get, like, a fishing rod, maybe a bug net. Yo, and we got KK Slider over here playing us a jam. Can I skip through this? I really don't want to listen to his jam. So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there. Explore new frontiers. That's all the the way right, Daddy. <laughs> you don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. I love how these, th this game has, like, little messages, especially for, like, the younger audience to kind of just, like, do their own thing. Like, I think it's so cool how Nintendo did this. And I feel like this game is very underrated in, in the Nintendo series. I feel like half people love it. Like, it's, it's a big game for sure in the Nintendo series. But then, like, the other half were like, no, I never played it. I never really gave it a chance. But, yo, this game is phenomenal. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. We're going to start getting into the good stuff. But and if you are enjoying the playthrough, make sure you smash that like button. You guys know the deal. And click that big red subscribe button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this playthrough. And I'll keep producing content for this game. Seriously, I hope you guys do enjoy this playthrough. It is awesome. I'm having tons of fun with it already, and we're not even into the good stuff. Like, I'm a big Animal Crossing. I'm a big one, even though I did not play New Leaf. <gasps> Gene's gonna play New Leaf. I know, I know. Let's go. Tom Nook's already at our tent. What is he doing? Tom Nook's just here, ready. He's probably like, give me all your money. Like, get out of my face. But we're gonna get rolling here. Go talk to him and see what's up. But there's, like, DIY recipes here in this game, so we can, like, build a bunch of stuff. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. I did. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap. Yeah, it's a brand new day. I just realized that. I thought we were supposed to take a nap, and now it's morning. <laughs> so we slept through the night and the rest of the party, which is all good. But we're going to get moving along here. What you want? First, you'll need one of these, yes? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Oh, so that's the phone. Is that the Nook phone? Yeah, yo, we got a Nook phone. It looks exactly like the iPhone. I just realized that. It has, like, a, the home button. It is legit an iPhone. <laughs> Look at it. It has a little circle button on the bottom. We open up our Nook phone. Look at that bad boy. Hey, welcome. What you want? What you want? Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. You have, like, no cell phone towers. Look at that butterfly. I want to catch it. Say, Jeans, have you ever used a smartphone before? Yeah, yo, I have one of my own. I have, like, 10,000 of them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. Nah, dude, my phone's pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's he giving us here? Is that a deed? This is your itemized bill. Yo, this boy throws us a bill. This includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor tax, and of course your Nook phone. This boy gives us a Nook phone and then gives us a, be a bill for it. And then he expects us to pay 50 G's for this? Get out of here. I'll say, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Yes, yes. Well then. Wait, you don't have any bells? I can't believe I didn't think of this. Why would you think I had money? I just came here on a plane. I woke up from a nap, and now he's out front of my door demanding money. Throws me a $50,000 bill. Like, boy. But he goes on to say that we can actually pay him off with Nook Miles, which is the other currency. So we're going to figure out how we can get Nook Miles from the Nook Mileage program. Okay, so Nook Mile, you can earn miles simply by living here on Genestopia. I dare say, the more you enjoy... So, let me just go over it. <laughs> Nook Miles, you get them from doing achievements. You can look at your achievements. The more miles you get, 
the more points you get or the more miles you get the more money you have i guess it's a, it's a, it's another type of currency so there's bells and miles and you can pay off your house loans and all the, that loan right there with miles so that is what we're going to be trying to rack up in this episode we're going to try to get a few nook miles get some stuff going here and start building up the village just a little bit well let's go what we got where are we heading to i think we're heading to his tent his tent no we're chilling here but yo let's go my new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. So now we can do exactly whatever we want. From now on, island time will match the flow of real time in this world. Do not touch the power button when you see the auto save normal game stuff. You can also save and quit your game by pressing the minus button. That is lovely. But yo, now we are all on our own. Our Nook phone's ringing. ZL. What's this? Nook Miles. So look, we can look at our Nook Miles right here and see what quest we have to do. You're enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Yay! Next, we know. We know. We know. Close that. Okay, so we can get Isles. Oh, we can claim some right now. So you traveled a long way, so this is our first mission we did. We got 500 Nook Miles. Ooh, baby. So we need 5,000 in order to pay him off. What is this? Learning how to fish. Okay, so this is fishing. So what is this? Catch 10 fish? Okay. Uh, island togetherness. One of the goals in Nook Inc. is residence togetherness. Our rigorous greetings invitation initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles. Just for chatting with residents. Okay, so chat residents. We'll get some Nook Miles. Catch some bugs. Flower power. Plant some plants. Pick a bunch. Okay, so pick a bunch of stuff up. What is it? Is it anything? Fruits? Okay, so pick up some fruits. Go ahead, be shellfish. Go get some shells. Man, yo, tons of rewards, yo. Look at all these rewards. Look at all these rewards. Okay, so we got all these things to do right now. But we're going to start going around the island. Picking up some different stuff. Maybe picking up some weeds. Selling them. Getting some bells from little Timmy. This little Timmy, I believe you go over into the residence area. And little Timmy drops over some, uh... Oh, I mean, you could sell items to him and he can give you some bells. But give me that cherry. Yeah, baby. Yo, dude, this game is so relaxed. I like how it's there's no competitive side to it. Like... Oh my god, it's just you doing your thing, having some fun. I love solo player games. Always a big fan of it. We're going to pick up some weeds before we actually head to the residence area. I actually want to get like a fishing rod or something along those lines. So I can actually start fishing, do some nook mile things. But I think I got to go talk to residents. Let's go over to Sparrow. Is Sparrow chilling in his tent? We got these boys over here. Let's check down this tree. Come here, tree. Give me all your cherries. Let me head over to the beach area as well before we actually head to the residence area. Just to see what it's all about. I haven't even checked out the beach area. Let's head down there. Yo, look at this. Oh, yes, sir. On this rock. Oh, yeah. Any seashell? Yeah, here's one. We got a nice little shell right there. Yo, look at this. I cannot wait to actually build this island. Like, I'm going to have this island all decked out. Looking good. Looking all dandy. We got butterflies. I got tree branches right here. This residence area. Oh, there's Sparrow. Let me talk to the boy. Yo, what's up, Sparrow? Yo, I'm pumped about the spot you helped me pick out. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies like, whoa. Yo, dude, Sparrow's the man. All right, I got something here you would like. Thanks again for placing my tent. What you got me, dude? A hat! Yo, let me throw that on to actually get off my blonde hair. I need I need this out of here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this hair. I'm not blonde. I have brown hair. <laughs> All right, let's throw on this hat. Can I throw it on? Hat. Wear this. Oh, dude, that's gorgeous hat. That's a gorgeous explorer's hat. Yes, sir. Look at this hat. Now we're rocking out. Let's head into this little uh, residence tent here. Go see what's going on. I believe Tom, Nook, Timmy, and Tommy are chilling here with some things for us to do. But I'm going to go sell some things to Tommy. Or no, it's just Tommy or Timmy. Which one? I can't really tell the difference. Tom, Nook. Ah, jeans. Welcome. Welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. Let me know if you need advice on the island. Gotcha. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help produce some of the essentials. We're thriving in Little Paradise. Okay, so... Tom's for main missions, Timmy's for like selling, buying stuff, and items. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. This is the one of the new big things in here. Let me talk to let me talk to Tommy real quick. This is Tommy. No, oh, it's Timmy. I'll welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? No, I do not. We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for island residents. Space is limited right now. Okay, so what you got for me? I'm not really going to buy anything. I kind of just want to sell my stuff. Get you on here. I'll take a look. Let me just see what you got. Mm. Okay, a stove oh, or a barbecue and an outdoor generator. Oh, you got some good stuff, but I got no money. I have no money. Give me your money. <laughs> uh, can I can I sell stuff to you, my dude? That's what I'm kind of here for. Let's see. How can I help you? Can I sell now? Yeah, I want to sell. Let's sell these weeds. We'll get some bells rolling for us. What you want? Okay, so let's get rid of these weeds. Clumps of weeds. Um, Get rid of this stone. And I'll get rid of two cherries. Let's confirm that. Get rid of all this. Look at all the fine things you brought us. Allow me to run the numbers. What you giving us? 
Ten billion dollars? I'll take it. Seven hundred eighty-five. All right, yeah. I guess for weeds, that's a good amount. <laughs> but yeah, we can collect some weeds, get some early money in this game. But yeah, when you eat fruit, food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized. Yes, I do know about that. In this game, if you eat fruit, you become energized, so you can do like ridiculous things. So you can actually like, if you have a shovel and you eat a fruit, you can dig up a tree, all that good stuff. Let me talk to uh, Tom. Oh, our phone's ringing. Nook miles. Oh, we completed a nook mile thing. Um, I believe if you hit the right stick, yeah. If you hit the right stick down, it will just go straight down to uh, whatever mission you did complete. Did we complete any other ones? Could be. Oh, we did. What's this? Seller. Okay, we sold some stuff. We get some nook miles here. Oh, baby. So we need 5,000, I believe, in order to get... Uh, okay, so that's everything we did so far. In order to pay off our debt to Tom Nook. Because we, we owe him all that money. From the house, the nook phone, all that stuff that he's charging us. What would you like? Uh, what should I do? Yes, yes. That is the question. Ah, I've got the thing. Okay, so we have to do the DIY workshop. And we're going to go over to there and learn how to use it up. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. What's up? What you got? I see you discovered it. Yeah, that you just told me to go over there. <laughs> He's going to teach us. But if you guys do not know what to do in this game, always go over here. Talk to Tom Nook. Be like, yo, what should I do? He'll give you a hint. Or not a hint. He'll tell you what to do. That's pretty dope. So we're going to learn how to use this so we can actually start building things like nets to catch butterflies, fishing rods, axes and i think that's the three i think that's three there might be one more what am i missing axe oh a shovel a shovel okay that's dope that's dope when you see how simple the diy is it's gonna be awesome but you grab all, you gather materials for the recipe and then you go over to the workbench you build it it's pretty simple okay so today we're constructing a fishing rod dope 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 cannot wait we need a mere five tree branches i think i have six on me do i have five tree branches let's see uh, jeans found in necessary materials. Hmm. Well then, yeah, I believe I had six on me. So that's nice to actually gather a couple, uh, like extra stuff. So like, as you see, I need a five or ten tree branches in the beginning. But I grabbed more stuff. I grabbed some weeds, cherries, because it helped me out in the long run. But we're gonna craft this flimsy fishing rod. I believe later on you can actually, um, you can actually get better rods and stuff because we only have a flimsy one. So eventually it will break, and then you can eventually upgrade and get better stuff. But there we go. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipe. And it concludes my DIY workshop. Yeah, so eventually you get a bunch of DIY recipes. That just gives you the recipes, what materials you need to build stuff. And then you come over here once you grab the materials. And boom, you craft your stuff. But we're pulling out our Nook phone. He's giving us something. What are you giving us? He's like downloading something to our phone. What we got? Ooh, is that a recipe book? Yeah, yeah, we got a recipe app. That's tight, nice. Okay, splendid. Thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use at any time i love how they implemented apps and phones as it's like a newer generation of kids and everything and people like everyone the phone is so relevant in today's uh, world so i think it's pretty cool how they how they implemented the phone and apps and all that good stuff let's go but we gotta go catch some fish and stuff for the boy is that what he said right he wants to go catch some fish what would you like to talk to me about yeah i i i was talking to the to the peeps watching the video <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go catch some creatures for him. Some critters and all that. Yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish with your net and fish rod. I do not have a net yet, though. But that's what he wants to do. He wants to go catch some critters. Let's see if we have any recipes in here. Let's craft. Do we just have the fishing rod? We might just have the fishing rod. Then we have fishing rod and net. What do we need for a net? We need tree branches. So we're actually gonna go grab some uh, tree branches, catch some fish. Well, let's grab some tree branches, come back, craft that thing. Or craft the what's it called? The net and then we can get rolling from there look at that so we can catch some bugs all that good stuff how many tree branches we have just one here i need four more i need four more give me some tree branches yo you're not giving me no tree branches what you mean let's go drop it out drop me some tree branches where are they at Did i use up that tree already there's no way we use this one. Oh, yo we dropped what's it what came out of that leaf a bathroom towel rack out of a tree give me that yes sir so getting these tree branches. There we go. Now they're falling out. Give it to me. This is what we need. Yeah! <laughs> now we're moving along. Look at this. Nice little five batcher. All right, let me go create my net. And then we'll go fishing. Go get some critters, all that. Go head down to the beach. Like, see, now we're into the good stuff. Now we're into the good stuff. Just do as I please. Run around. Don't have to worry about setting up tents, all that good stuff. Just go and do me. This is what this game's all about. So much fun. Definitely one of the top Nintendo games. Should I craft something? Yeah, yo. Let's craft it. Let's go. Where's it at? It's craftable. They're all craftable. Oh, we can do a fire pit as well. Give me this. Craft this thing. Let's do it. A flimsy net. So, I think we can use the flimsy materials until we upgrade later. Only a couple times until they actually break. And then we'd have to uh, build another one. All done for now. But now I just need to learn how to actually carry out my... What's it called? Or, like, bring out my fish around, bring out my net. 
I think it, did we just do it through the X button? Let me see. Let me see. So we got this. Can I actually uh move these around? Can I actually move these around? I believe I can somehow. I don't know how to do it yet, but we're gonna bring out our fish around here. Actually, we'll just run around until we see something. Okay, let's go. Let's roll out. I believe you can sneak up if you hold down A or something. I'm not too sure. But I'm gonna go fishing. I wanna find some fishy fishy. So in order to fish, you have to find these little silhouettes of these uh, fish. So once you find them, yo, look, Agnes is fishing. So look, like right here. There's see that silhouette right there? Oh, and there's a bug. Hold up. Do I pull out my net? Let's pull out my net. I'll catch this bug first. Hold this. How do I swing this? Yeah. Give me that. Oh, I missed him. Get in here. Yeah. Ca caught our first bug. What is this? Yes. I caught a tiger butterfly. I earned my stripes. Heck yeah. We got him. I'm pulling out my fishing rod now. And you can see these little silhouettes of these uh of these fish right here. So what you gotta do is actually cast out. That bad cast. I'm not in the water. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that cast. That's a money cast right on this fish. So what he's gonna do is he'll eventually turn and start poking at my little bait. And once it drops down into the water, that's when you hit A again to reel him up. Let's see. Come on, baby. What you want? Come on. Come on. Take the bite. Take the bait, buddy. There we go. Reel him up. Yeah. What we get? What kind of fish is this? Oh, yes. I caught a bluegill. There we go. We got our first fish and our first bug. So I'm going to keep going around here because we need, I think, five critters. So we have two now. Then I'll catch six just in case. Let's see. We got more butterflies showing here. There's a fish. Oh, and a butterfly going across the water. You hunk of junk. We got a tiny fish right there. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come to the bait. Oh, but we got a butterfly to my left flying across. Let me catch this fish and maybe just pull out the net after that. <gasps> I wasn't paying attention. That's wax sauce. That's whack. I wasn't paying attention. He one bit that thing. Give me my net. No, 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 no. I want my net. This thing's like right here. Come here, butterfly. That's a different butterfly I don't have. Did I get him? Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got him. What we get? This is a different butterfly. Yes, I caught a yellow butterfly. Nice. So I'm definitely going to be trying to actually collect like every single critter in this game. Every single fish. Every single bug. That will be awesome. But I believe some of them only come out in certain times. It's kind of funny. Here's another fish. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Take this bait. The last one just took it right away. He didn't even do any chomps. Go ahead, buddy. Turn. Turn. Yo, don't, don't. Come on. Turn around. Stop staying in there. Don't make me pull out and do another cast. I'm going to have to pull out and do another cast, aren't I? All right, let's see this. Come on, put it right on his head. That was not bad. That was not bad. I feel like he's going to turn for this one. Little fishy. Little fishy. Yo, what's your problem? Oh, we're just going to cast right here. Yay. Oh, that's a money cast. That is the money cast. You got to turn for this one. You got to turn for this one, buddy. Dude. This fish is giving me hard times, bro. <laughs> Get him out of here. Yay. Okay, that is perfect. That is perfect. He's biting now. Money cast. See, there's a butterfly behind me as well. Go ahead. Chomp down on that. Give me that. Give me that fish. Did we caught that butterfly before. Oh, but a new fish. Yeah, that's a yellow butterfly. I'm not really worried about it. I caught a bitterling. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's head down. Let's see. Any bigger fish? The bigger silhouettes are like the bigger fish. There's some cool fish in this game. Anything? I don't know if we can catch big fish right now. They might be like auto -gener Oh, baby. Yes, we can. Get over here. Look at this thing. Absolute monster. Hopefully, we catch it. Can my flimsy rod not handle it? Oh, bite this thing. Get in here. Holy monster. What is that? Is that a bass? Let's go. He caught a black bass. The most metal of all fish. Yo, let's get it. Yo, big boy. Big daddy bass out here. Why am I trying to cast? I want to pick up this stone. I'll pick up this tree branch and catch some, or pick up some weeds as well so we can sell them eventually. Look at all these weeds, though. So I'm going to catch one more fish before we actually head back to the nook thing and uh, do our little critters and all that. Anyone, any fish chilling over at the beach? We can go beach fishing. A little bit of seashell action. Yo, any any fish over here? Show me a fish. Oh, yeah. What you want for? That's a, that's a decent size. I don't think that's a bass because bass don't live in the ocean. <laughs> that was a terrible cast. Let's pull that back up. Come here, fishy, fishy. Yay. That's a money cast. Yo, he saw it. Yo, bite down on that. What we got here? Give me a little flounder or like a squid. I'm hoping a squid. Squids would be dope. Come on, bite it. Yo, he keeps nibbling at it. Give it a big bite. Give me that. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, a flounder. Let's get it. I call it dab. Oh, it's a dab. It looks exactly like a flounder. But all good. We'll take that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful white butterfly. Give me my flimsy net. Yo, we're running out of space. I need to, like, upgrade and sell some things. Yeah. Give me that butterfly. Yes, sir. Yes. I caught a common butterfly. Okay, so that's a common butterfly. That's pretty dope. All right, let's pick up these weeds and then go talk to the boy Nookster of the Tom. Let's run over there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
Yo, Tom, what's up? We're coming in. We're coming in, buddy. I like how this tent looks so small, but once you go in there, it's like, yeah, big tent, baby. All right, so we got the critters for you. We have to give them to you, right? Let's see. Let's talk to the boy. Let's talk to the boy. Ah, jeans. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. You're all ears? Um, I found a creature. Yo, oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Which creature should we give him? The dab is my favorite. Actually, the black bass might be my favorite. Let's give him the common butterfly. Let's give him the common butterfly. Does he take it, or are we just showing it to him? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a common butterfly. Hmm. If this island can support a common butterfly, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might be able to have. Means I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send this to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take my butterflies, dude. You take my money. Now you're taking my butterflies. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. What we got? There's no... There is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Oh, giving us a new app. I believe it is the Critterpedia, it's called. And it just shows us, like, all the critters and different stuff on it. Let's get it, yo. Yeah, Critterpedia, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's just a terrific resource for island researchers such as yourself. With this app, I can learn more details and have a collection of all my bugs and all different critters in this game. But let's go. Do I have to give you more bugs? Let's see, let's see. What would you like to talk to me about? Do I have to do this, like, separately? Um, I found another critter. <laughs> oh, another critter. I think we need five. I think we need five or something. Let's give him, uh, let's give him the bluegill. You can take my bluegill. I have a fish here. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this bluegill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, send this to the museum guy. I believe we have to give him five. I think, I think that's the thing. And then we'll check our nook miles and grab all that stuff. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench? I have. I have, that's great. <laughs> okay, he's sharing more DIY recipes, which is nice. That's cool. Give them to me. Give them to me. What are you giving me? Can you give me, like, an axe or something? I'd love to get an axe and collect some, like, wood and all that good stuff. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood. Oh, yes! With axe. Awesome. That's dope. We do get the axe, so now we can actually collect hardwood instead of just tree branches. Uh, let me see what he says. Do I have to keep giving him critters one by one? Let's see. I'm all ears. What should I do? Let's see. What should I do? Hmm. Yes, yes. That is the question. Well, this island is never... Yeah, so let's just keep giving him creatures until we finish this up. I believe we have to give him five. I believe five creatures is what we gotta give him. So let's go. I hate how we have to do this one one by one. I wish we could just, like, give him all five at once. Like, here you go. Take all these creatures. Oh, another creature. Yes, sir. Uh, let's give him... I don't want to give him my black bass. We'll give him this thing. What is this thing again? We'll give him the bitterling. Here, take my bitterling. I'm holding on to my black bass. That's my biggest fish. I'm not letting him go. He's staying in my pocket. Let's go. Yeah, send it to the museum. And then we can actually craft some axes and other DIY recipes. Maybe start decorating our house a little bit. Not too sure yet, but I definitely want to kind of focus on the Nook Miles. Doing all that to actually pay him back. Oh, he gave us some flowers. I'm going to plant them around my house. So there we go. We can do, get some Nook Miles for just planting flowers. I'll be type nice. Build to my village. Let's go, buddy. Let me, let me give you two more critters I gotta do. Taking way too long with the critters. Taking way too long with the critters. Got myself a critter. Uh, which one should we give him up? Uh, let's give up the... Uh, we're gonna keep the tiger butterfly and the and the bass. And the bass. We'll give him the... What's it called? We'll give him the dab. The little flounder looking thing. But here you go. Take my yellow butterfly. It is all yours, buddy. Here's a present from me. Have it up. Yeah, look at little Timmy, yo. Dude, Timmy cracks me up. But Tom Nook's here with his awesome little, like, Hawaiian button-up shirt. Did you give me more flowers? Or are you just talking about flowers? Well, we need a watering can in order for them to do that. So I think we cannot actually plant flowers just yet. We need a watering can. Or are you giving us a recipe for that? I'll take it. I'll take the watering can recipe. Yes, he just sent us the recipe for the watering can. Okay, so we're going to have to make that as well. I'm going to sell some things to uh, little Timmy over here after this because my storage is kind of low. I believe you can upgrade and get more rows of storage, which is nice. And then eventually you can, you can store things in your house. Let's give him the final critter here. Let's give it to him. I believe five is the critter. Oh, another creature? Yes. Uh, let's give him the dab. Give him the... I don't want to do it. I was about to dab, but I'm better than that. I'm better than that. Not 2018, 17, 19, whatever it came out. <laughs> well, let's go. Or was it 90? It might have been 19. <laughs> but I feel like you guys would have been like, all right, jeans, I'm going to stop watching there if I would have dabbed. <laughs> Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Yep, something's happening because we gave five critters. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what a splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the ventures we discussed? I'm currently stationed on the island. We decided to call Jean's Topia. 
Yes, 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 the local fauna are it's just as abundant as I expected. Mm-hmm. How many previously? You ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm hmm Okay, so there we go. We gave him five of these, and he's actually going to allow us to build a museum. And the museum, I believe it takes a couple days to actually build, like, real-time days. I believe we don't just place it and it's built. I believe it's just, like, you place it and you have to wait a couple days for it to actually build up, which is pretty cool. That'll give us time to do other things. But there he goes. He gives us the museum. Like, I like how it's just wrapped up and we can shove it in our pockets and we can place it wherever we want. Okay, so it's good size. I think I'm going to place it near uh, Sparrow and... Agnes's house and kind of keep it over there kind of create a little village. Um, can I DIY, DIY yet? Let's see, let's at least see what we need to actually craft some things. So let's craft We're going to want so we got a watering can and axe. What do we need? We need a stone and we need more tree branches Um, water can what do we need and we need softwood So we're gonna have to create an axe and then go from there. We got some birdhouses. We got fire pits We got tiki torches. That's awesome. So we're gonna have to go grab a tree branch in order to get the axe We're gonna go place the museum have that get built in, and then do a couple more Nook Miles before we finish off this part one. Let's get it. I don't even know how many parts this could possibly be. This could take as long as we want. But kind of, oh, Agnes is chilling here. Where do I want this museum to be? I don't want to, let's take a look at our map. So let's just wait it. Okay, so I might actually place it all the way up near my house, all the way up in this corner. Now, this could be a pretty nice spot, but I don't want to take out that rock. Oh, oh hold the phone. Monster boy, give me my rod. Give me my rod. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Come here, buddy. Got a big dog. It's not enough. We got cast more towards him. Let's go. This is the money cast. Yeet. Right on him. Bill. Yo, turn around, buddy. This is right on you. Don't you dare swim. What you mean, dog? Come here. Yeet. There you go. Got your attention, little doggy. Or big dog. Give me that. Give me that. What we got? Is another bass? Looks like a... No, it's not a bass. What is that? Is that a carp? Yellow perch. Nice. Okay, so we get a nice little yellow perch. That's what I wanted. But where am I placing this museum? That is the real question. Gotta go back and sell some things. We check out the map. Go place it in the lower corner. I kind of want to place it right up here. I kind of just want to place it right up here. Right in between this. I don't know. Do I really want to place it in between it? Actually, yeah. Because I bet you I can maybe create paths or something. But yeah, let's do it. Give me this. Give me this. Bather's tent marker. Get it. Uh, can we move it up a little bit? I want to move it up a little bit. Uh, no. I want to rethink. So I want to take a step up and maybe move it up closer to the water here. Right on the water of this museum. Uh, yeah. That's actually a solid spot. Let's actually imagine it first. We're going to take out two trees here, I believe. Let's see. Which is totally fine by me. It's totally fine. Oh, yes. Oh, this is Blather's tent. Why do I think this was the museum? No, I need to rethink. So if this is Blather's tent, I kind of want to put it near the main spot. Why do I think it was the museum? I put it right here. Can I place it like on this little spot? I kind of want it near. I could place it right next to this tent. Let's do it. Let's place it right next to this tent. Actually, no. Actually, no. You know what? We're placing it right where I where that was at. We're placing Blather's tent right where I had it right here. Have all three of these tents just chilling right here. This is like a cooler, bigger looking tent. But yeah, we're we're placing here. I, I want to place a museum here. I want to move it up now no this is not the spot i need to rethink <laughs> i wish you can kind of just like move it up like say i hit that button i wish i can just like slide it up a little bit because that's all i want it but yeah this is a spot i'm just gonna say this is the spot i'm not even gonna imagine it because we already saw how it would look we're gonna place blather's tent here beautiful blather's tent can set up place now which is awesome so there we go now it has some time to build and we're gonna check out our nook miles see what we have done so far we can get some points so i'm gonna slide down the right stick and see what we did shady shakedown and then I want to get some, uh, what's called as well. Look at that, 300 Nook Miles. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's slide down again. That's all we did? Okay, that's shown. Uh, let's see what we can actually do. Go up to the top. There's Cast Master. New. Okay, so cast your line carefully. Okay, so we cast. Pick a bunch. Okay, so this is going to be like picking up a bunch of things. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to have to be doing these. We're going to have to be doing these. We're going to do a couple more Nook Mile things, and then we're going to get rolling. We're going to get rolling. I actually need some uh, tree branches as well. Yo, see, but but my boy Sparrow over here took them all. That hunk of junk. Look at him. He's holding a bunch of tree branches. I need a few to actually get an axe. So let's check down this tree. You got any tree branches for me? Oh, there's one on the ground. Let's actually grab this. Give me that. A anything in here? No tree branches. Dude, Sparrow's just over here taking up everything. All right, let's roll to the tent. DIY recipes coming at you guys. And I actually might head home. I might actually put some decorations up. But I want to get this axe. Get rolling from there. Do some work. 
I love the little loading, the floating bobber to the right side. It's pretty dope. But yeah, what's up? Ah, jeans! I think you found a suitable spot for bladders. Yeah, I did. Perfect. It is just dandy. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'll let Bylers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I hate to see you push yourself too far in, in one day. But it's no fur on my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. <laughs> I've got a few tips for racking up a good nook miles. So don't hesitate if you need a little advice. I'm good. What's this little box? What's in here? I'm like, oh, how silly of me to forget. I need you to... Brief introduction of that box. It is a recycle box for all the island residents. Use, we'll be using it for items to remove such during construction. Okay, so I can store things and take things out? Okay. So is that what it is? Let's see. Oh, we got a cardboard box. I don't even want it. No, that's a little storage for me right now. Now let's talk to little Timmy right here. I'm going to sell some items here. Grab some bells, and then we're going to go hit up those DIY recipes. Uh, I want to sell. I want to sell, my dude. Let's get rid of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of these 10 cherries, actually. And cherries. What is this? Bathroom towel rack. I'll hold on to that for now. We got rid of some shells. I want those flowers. Get rid of these weeds. I need that stone for the pickaxe. Uh, I need tree branches. Good. Good. Should I get rid of the shells? No. We'll, we'll, we'll keep one shell. Uh, how much you give me? 10,000? 10, 10,000 you say? And done. I can buy these items for a total. Okay. 1,280. Sold! Sold to little Timmy. Like how little Timmy is legit Tom Nook just tinier. Has the same belly and it's cracking me up. <laughs> All right, let's craft, uh, let's craft some things. I want to get this axe. Where's my axe at? Look at this, yo. We unlocking tons of stuff. So we're going to craft this axe. Flimsy axe. Let's get it. Then we're going to build up a watering rod, too. So we're going to get some hardwood. Get chilling from there. That's a flimsy axe. We need some hardwood in order to do that. Let me pull out the axe. Get chopping down trees. I believe you can hit our rocks and stuff and maybe find money rocks. There's things called money rocks that drop, like, bells and coins and all that good stuff. That's pretty good. All right, let's go over here. Where's my axe at? There it is. Flimsy axe. Let's hold this bad boy. Yo, what you want? What you want, tree? What you want? Yay! Yay! Give me all your wood. Give me all your wood, dude. Alright, so that's all the wood we get from there. I think we need five pieces of wood, something along those lines, but I want to go head up a rock as well. Give me all your wood. Look at that. Yes! Mm, mm. I, think it's, I think it's three wood per tree. I don't know how many uh, the flimsy axe can go through, so I'm going to hit up one more tree and then go find a rock. Maybe there's a rock up near my house. Yeah! Give me all this wood, baby. Give it all to me. I believe there's three different types of wood. Hardwood, medium wood, and uh, softwood. Is that it? But here's a rock. Let's see what happens when we hit this thing. Give me that stone. Oh, it dropped a bug. It dropped a bug. Look at that. Give me my net. Give me my net. What, what is it? It looks like, a, like that roly-poly bug, right? Like that you find on the rocks. Give me that. Give me that thing. What is this? Yes. I call it pill bug. Okay. I call it pill bug. That's what's up. Okay. Now let's, yo, there's a monster fish. Do I catch it? I'm gonna catch it. Give me a sec. Let me, let me actually just finish up beating the whole battle of this rock. Right, that's all I can get. Okay. What's up, fishy fish? What's up, big dog? I'm gonna catch you and then build myself a watering can. Yo, dude, this game is too good. This game is phenomenal. Let's go. Yee. Come here, fishy. Oh, yeah, you noticed that one. This thing looks like a monster. Come here, buddy. Drop it. Drop that line. Yes, sir. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, is that another bass? That thing's huge. Black bass. That's a big one. That's a big dog. All right. So let's now let's go build that watering can and then maybe plant some things around our house. See what's going on here. Craft some some items. We can finish up doing Nook Miles in the next episode and pay back the boy Tom Nook. I definitely want that watering can. Faux show. Faux show. Come here, buddy. DIY recipes. Did I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? Uh, yeah. Let's get crafting. Let's get crafting. Where's that watering can? Craftable, yes. We mean okay, so that was softwood. The, that lighter one is softwood. I believe the darker one might be hardwood. And then there's a third one. I don't know if it's called medium wood or something. Made a flimsy watering can. I'm good for now. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Tom Nook, I'll catch you later, big dog. <laughs> but yo, this game is phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of it. Huge fan of it so far. I feel like I'm gonna put so many hours into this game. But yeah, let's go over to my house and give it a little bit of life. Let's give it a little bit of life. I believe we have some uh we have some uh What's it called? Oh, wait, did I plant one? I didn't mean to plant that. How can I pick it up? What the heck? Actually, okay, so now we're gonna have to make it symmetrical. Plant one. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I pick it up? What's this? It says grab one. I I, I didn't want to do this. This is terrible. How do I get rid of these plants? I'm getting sick of them. Actually, I can actually, if I if I make this right, I can drop one here and make it symmetrical. <laughs> plant it. 
No! Why is planning so annoying? Can I push him? You know, let me get rid of this rod. I'm sick of holding this. Maybe I gotta not hold the rod. Put away. I'm sick of this. Can I pick up these plants? Are you kidding me? Can't pluck these weeds? Uh, you know, we're not even gonna deal with it. Let's go check our Nook phone. It's been ringing. We got some Nook miles showing here. Let's drop down. We got... Do I? I know I didn't complete anything. Why do I think I completed something? What's why, why is it ringing then? It's ringing? Oh, it's my mailbox. It's my mailbox. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, Nintendo sent us a gift. Place a pocket. What do we get? And we got another gift. Nintendo sending us some gifts. I was wondering what's blinking. It was just this thing. So we got these two things. And what do we get? What do we get? We got two gifts. Okay. Let's open them up. Open up. Nintendo Switch. Oh! And a night. Oh, and a DIY workbench. Okay, we're going to learn this. Yes, yo. Let's learn this workbench and get that. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. okay, so now our phone's ringing. Okay, Nook Miles. Now we got some Nook Miles. Let's check them out. Claim it. Have a nice day. You learn a DIY recipe. How much is that? Three that or three hundred. So we need five thousand, which we, we will probably just work on that in the next episode. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As the next episode, we're gonna be completing our Nook Miles and paying back Tom Nook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.